my god, it's the smallest horse in the world. Hi, Anza. He is only 16 and a half inches. So sweet. This one lady calls me up and said, my mare had a baby dwarf. And the dwarf is so small that it can't even reach its mother's udder. The vet said, his legs are crooked, his bite, he can't even chew anything. So we're going to put him down. She said, well, if you're going to come, you better come within two days. So I drove across the country. I took him and we went to the hotel room. And we went and he laid on the bed. No more flies and no more dirt. And I cleaned him up. Ew. And all he wanted to do was eat. And that was my clue that this little horse wanted to live. Good job, buddy. I brought him home. We should have babies for those feet. And we did his little feet for the first time. <laughs> and it'll be quite a few more times, but this is how good he was. Fast forward, and he's as healthy as can be. We have special shoes made for him. His legs are straight. His head grew, so his jaws aligned. He's doing really good. Come on, everybody, let's go. In the morning, I take him and I put him out in the backyard, all fenced with the little Frenchies. He thinks he's a dog. I'm quite sure of it. Dinner, everybody. I'm with my husband. He body follows him around. Go back right now. I brought Peabody home and he just looked at him. It was really love at first sight. Peabody, you can't go to work with Papa. <laughs> I don't know, it's like a little zoo nut house around here. <laughs> Adam loves him so much. Oh, look at him go. He's really funny. He's sassy. This is definitely the worst hair day so far this year. He's a cross between a little angel and a little devil. He just takes things and he throws them all over the room. Some people say, oh, he's just one in a million. I think he's one in a lifetime. We are his herd. His mother, and there's his dad, and there's his brothers and sisters. And it's a crazy family. <laughs> it's a crazy family, but I wouldn't give it up for anything. <laughs>